Hello there, YouTubers. Guys, so how's everybody doing? You never see me dress up. A little vlog here this morning. You see how everybody's doing? Got my glasses on because I'm blind. Yeah, I am. Oh, God. You know, I like American Eagle jeans, and, you know, they're, they're not that. I was at the mall with my kids, and there's more tall people these days than there used to be. I mean, I'm six foot four, and I wear a 34 length in pants, 36 in the waist, and some, 38 and some, so. So I put on some weight, so. I had to go up to 38 on some of them, and then some of them's loose, so, but I'm losing it now, so. But anyway, it makes a long story short, we went to the mall Saturday, me and my kids, and I got them some shoes and clothes and stuff. And, and uh, I know, you know, people don't like name brand, whatever, but I used to love Levi's, and you couldn't buy one pair that fit the same. You could buy 10 pairs of the same size, and they'd all fit different. So, I went up there one time and I bought a pair of American Eagle jeans, and they were like $39.95 with $10 off, and then you got another 20% off. And so, uh, that made them like $24, and I really liked them. So, I bought like two pairs. Well, I ripped the ass out of one pair. You know, because uh, they weren't tied or anything. They were real loose and baggy. And wore them out, actually. You know, just wore them out. And I really liked them. So I go to the mall Saturday and I try to find a pair 34, I mean 38, 34. The biggest, the biggest length in the store is 32. And the girl said, you have to order them online to get anything bigger. And I'm like, what is wrong with you people? Do you know all these tall people running around here? Most of these tall kids and men wear 34 length. I said, what's wrong with, I mean, every store's like that. You know, just about 32 length. I've never, I've not worn a 32 length since I was in the sixth grade. I mean, Come on. So I had to order them and free shipping and all. But I ended up getting them for like tax and all for $26, you know, for a pair of jeans. Which these days isn't too bad. But anyway, I got to looking online on eBay and even the dang used ones with holes in them cost more than friggin' new ones. And I'm like, geez, I'm not paying that. And, uh, but anyway, these stupid jean companies, they could take a lesson from me. I'm a blue jean person. I love blue jeans in the summer. I'm winter. I wear shorts in the summer, but I like American Eagle, Gap, Wrangler, uh, Levi's. I even have a pair of Nautica jeans. I got them at, uh, regular warehouse for $7.99. I mean, what a store where you can buy name brand stuff and start cheap. It's just my little rant about clothes and their sizes and I don't understand why in the heck they can't put 34 length pants on the shelf. I used to wear when I was slimmer and I felt like I was an inch taller, maybe. I used to wear a 34, 36, and that was really hard to find. And then, as I got older, they were getting longer, so I put the 34 length. So, idiots. And uh, I want to, I want to disclose something about the little rant I made about the minimum wage. I know a lot of people are saying, and and it's probably true entitlements that people think they're entitled to everything and, and Obama's pretty freely about the entitlements and I didn't want people to take me wrong that I agree with 
with all his agendas and stuff. But I also didn't agree with Bush either. He bailed out a bunch of damn banks that got rich. He started a war in Iraq that shouldn't have never happened. You know. So it goes both ways. And like I said, I'm not taking up for either one of them because I didn't vote for either one of them. Don't like neither one of them. And they holler abortion, abortion, abortion. They run on this moral ticket when one side is calling the other kettle black, you know. The pot's calling the kettle black. They're both bad. I've always said that. And uh, the entitlement thing's been going on for years, and it's never changed, just like the abortion thing. They can run on that ticket all they want, but they never change the abortion laws. It's, I'm not for abortion. I think it's kill. I think it's murder, you know. But that's me. I do have some morals, so, you know. I mean, I'm not perfect. I do things I shouldn't, but I, I do have some morals. And I, I got some comments about different things. And I, and I love all you guys, and I love to hear whatever it has to say, and agree or disagree. I mean, that don't make us unfriends. That makes us, still makes us friends, you know, to me. But I know a guy that told me that he wouldn't have a friend that was a Democrat. And if they didn't agree with everything he said, then they could just unfriend him. Now, I don't believe in that, you know. People have a right to believe what they want to believe. And think the way they want to think. That's why we're all different. So, I'm not that way. If you believe that Obama's the Antichrist and all this or whatever, that's fine, you know. If you believe he wants to hand out freebies to everybody, that's fine. He may be, I don't know, I mean. But I did do some research on the minimum wage deal. And, and he's exactly right. The minimum wage does need to go up because there's people out here that can't live on, you know, $10, $11 an hour, let alone 9 I mean, it's not even a livable wage, especially a single mom or a single dad. God bless. I mean, you can't even rent a decent apartment for less than $500 a month. And that's here in East Tennessee, you know. <clears throat> it's like my house here, my house payment is a, probably a couple hundred dollars less than I can rent for, you know. And I'll live here as long as I can until I can, you know, if something happens and something comes and takes it away. Like, I don't have any insurance. My brother said, well, one bad thing happens to you and they'll take your house. I said, well, they can finish paying the damn thing off then, you know. I can't afford to die and leave my kids rich. That's just the way it is. You know, I didn't prepare for the future. I live day to day, and I'm happy. So it's all matters. So. But this biggest rant was about blue jeans. I can't believe it's crap. Now there's a pair of American Eagle, 36, 38, 34, I bought up there last year. And I go back in there and they say they don't carry them. I'm like, you're a bunch of idiots. Get with the program. This is to you, American Eagle. I love your jeans. I love the feel of them, the way they feel. They're a little pricey if they're not on sale. But you need to put the 34 lengths in your stores. Because they're growing big these days. Tall guys. So, does this make any sense? I ain't had a lot of sleep. I just wanted to tell y'all, my dad's real sick and say a prayer for him. Uh, he's 90 and he's lived a long life, but he has a, uh, got sick day for yesterday and was throwing up. Kept throwing up, kept throwing up. Doctor caught him in some medicine for nausea. No matter what he drank, he, you know, broth, 
Sprite water that come up. So we gave him the ER yesterday. I took him in my car. And he's hard to get in and out of the car because he can't walk good and stuff. And bless his heart, he's been through a lot. But he has a uh, what they call a bowel blockage and never heard of it. I mean, I'd never heard of it. I'd heard of it, but I'd, I didn't know how they handled it. And they may have to do surgery. And at his age, he may not be able to handle it. Plus, he has a catheter which hasn't put out any urine in two days. And it may be from all the throwing up. Is it, or is his kidney shutting down? I don't know. I hope not. But anyway, to solve the blockage, they've run the tube down his nose. And as of last night, they had already gotten four containers of feces or whatever out of his, out of his bowels, through his nose to the tube. That's how bad it was. Uh, he's a sick man, and uh, he's a good man. He's, a, he's my hero. So, if you guys pray, say a prayer for my dad. I'd uh, really, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Anybody out there that can do that. So. Even you, Nate Higgers, you know. I know you're giving me hell. You're changing channel names. You're making channels. I can't block them all, you know. You just keep, keep on feeding me. I know who you are anyway. It don't matter. You know. Even I'd ask you to say a prayer for me. I don't know if God would hear you or not. As much hell as you give me. But he probably would because he loves all of us. Peace out, everybody. Take care. See you.